Well, Kevin, first of all, nobody really wants to win a match like that. You must feel a lot of sympathy for David right now. Yeah, I do. As you said, um, you don't want to win a match like that. It's always tough to see somebody uh, get hurt. It can happen to any one of us. And I know it's like I've, you know, uh, hurt that same part of my leg and it's um, it's a very tricky injury to deal with and you could see he was battling with it quite a bit and from that point on um, with me being up a break as well and so much of his game is based on his movement I think he would put himself you know quite a bit of risk to do some serious damage there so you know I really hope he gets better uh, as soon as possible because there's, there's some very big tournaments coming up with the Indian Wells in Miami in the next four weeks. Mm. Obviously always tough to play a great champion like David but before he sort of sustained the injury could you feel yourself growing into the match a little bit anyway? Yeah it was tough I think I started off the match I thought I was hitting the ball really well and everything what I was trying to do out there I, you know I think I was doing it and not executing here and there and um, it got a little bit tough I gave uh, he I mean he, he, uh, he makes you work really hard and I felt uh, put an extra few balls in the court and I made a few uh, a few mistakes and next minute uh, you know I'm down a break and then I'm down another one and sitting down there 6-2 and I've just try to stick with it. I got that early break again in the second, and again he got it back. And uh, you know, I held serve finally after being broken, you know, three times in a row. So at least that settled me a little bit. But uh, I think there's a lot of positives I can take from it, even though it was tough out there, um, especially before uh, he hurt himself. And I think you know, playing while well, looking ahead, I think it gives me a pretty good in indication of some of the things that I'm doing well and what works, and you know, what I uh, what I can keep improving on. So you are into the semi-finals, and in general terms, how have you found this tournament here in Acapulco? Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's my first time here, um, and uh, you know, any time I've said any time that we can uh, stay at a hotel and just walk the courts, it really makes it nice. Um, and with it being right on the sea, um, you know, it's uh, it's it makes it even better. And uh, what's really blown me away is just the amount of fan support and uh, the level of interest here. It's um, you know, it's terrific to see. Um, you know, everywhere we go, people are really talking about the tennis. So. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased to have come down here and you know, look forward to spending, hopefully coming back here uh, for the years to come. And Alex Dolgopolov in the final four, played him a couple of times, I think you lost last time out, so you've got a chance of revenge again now. Yeah, um, he's a tough player, he's, uh, you know, he's really tricky, he plays uh, quite a bit different to most players, he throws all sorts of things at you. Um, you know, he's been playing well recently, of, uh, I think you know, making finals just last week. and. Uh, playing some good tennis. I was watching him early against uh, Eva, so um, I, I know what I need to do. Um, and if I can bring that to the table, I'll definitely give myself the best chances of winning the match.